Hey guys, hopefully everybody's having a good weekend. Uh, this is Alex and Amy, and we are harvesting our chickens today. Okay, so um, this has been a, an interesting day, to say the least. We got started super late, and you know, that's how it always is with us. But um, we are harvesting a different type of bird, and right now I do have my hand shoved up this chicken, and I'm not trying to be vile, but I am trying to get all the stuff out of it, make it ready for you guys to eat. Go ahead, Alex. Oh, we've got some, uh, the, the broilers that we have here are a little bit different. They're the, uh, they're called gray broilers, so they're a little different. It's the first time we've ever done them, and they've turned out really well. They're eight weeks old, uh, and what we've read about them is that they are squattier, so they've got shorter legs, uh, and then, but they still have big, full breasts on the meat uh, there on the chest, so that's a good thing. However, when um, Alex killed this chicken, and he put it into boiling water for how many seconds? About 30 seconds. And then he puts it into our plucker, and that gets the uh, feathers off of it. With this chicken, um, I don't know if you can tell, but it, it tore the skin. And to us, that's just not worth selling. So we'll keep that chicken for ourselves um, and eat that chicken. Uh, right now, what I am trying to do is I am trying to pull out what I like to call the squawker. And sometimes that's a little hard, but you find this long tube and then you pull, and there you have it. Um, right here we have a chicken liver and a chicken heart. We have been saving the livers and the hearts on these birds along with their necks and their feet. You can make great stock out of their feet. Shoot, you can make great stock out of the bones left over after you eat this chicken. And then, um, of course, you can can that and use them in soups for in the winter. Um, Alex? Uh, but these, overall, these birds have been great. They've been fantastic to deal with and to raise. Uh, like I said before, we did the normal uh, Corners Cross Broilers. And, uh, so we tried these. They're a little different, and uh, you know they've been really good. The next batch that we have are the same thing. Uh, they're also these as well. So it gives us a better idea of how to do them and uh, what's the difference between these and the, and the uh, other broilers that we have. So it's been pretty good. Yeah, so this is a finished product. Um, Alex, did you talk about the feathers on some of these? Well, the the other thing about the gray boilers is that they do have the feathers on them are darker, uh, so it is a little bit easier to see, but they're still fine. They're still the same as the other ones. The other ones are white, uh, which are probably not as visible to the eye uh, that most people see, but they come, same thing on the ones in the grocery store, uh, as these, but these are just darker colored, so that's the only difference. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see how that goes, but um, again, so this is what you get. We'll bag it up later this evening after they sit in ice for a while. This is our ice bucket right here and we raise it up and throw it in there and we let it sit in the ice. It helps to draw out any blood and tenderizes it a little bit as well. So anyway that, that's, that's our day. I mean this is this is what we call a good time around here. So. Yeah this is a lot of fun. We definitely enjoy this. Timmy is helping us. He's been helping us with the hose and the plucking machine and so it's, it's good family time. So we really enjoy this time. We got the girls chopping vegetables. Otherwise, they would be out here probably gagging while we do this. But they're sports about it. And they actually help us quite a bit. So um, but anyway, yeah. So thanks for watching. And, and thank you so much for following along with us. And we appreciate it. And, you know, stay tuned. Hope you guys have a great weekend. See you later. Bye.